Effect of the function of the abdominal muscles on the lower back during extension. The group of abdominal muscle plays an important role in imparting functional stability to the pelvis and lower back region. Functional stability of the pelvis and lower back. In addition to the stabilizing aspect, one of the movement functions of the abdominal muscles is posterior pelvic tilt. Posterior pelvic tilt indirectly causes a reduction in lumbar lordosis. Lumbar lordosis is a neutral pelvic position. Contraction of the abdominal muscles causes posterior pelvic tilt. Reduction of the lumbar lordosis after posterior pelvic tilt. In contradistinction, in anterior pelvic tilt, the abdominal muscles are relaxed and the erector spina contract. Lordosis increases with anterior pelvic tilt. It may be concluded that the contraction or relaxation of the abdominal muscles affects the range of extension movement of the vertebrae column. For example, Extension of the back without contraction of the abdominal muscles will promote a large range of movement in arching. When the abdomen is relaxed, the range of movement increases. Extension with contraction of the abdominal muscle promotes posterior pelvic tilt and reduces lumbar lordosis. Posterior pelvic tilt, lumbar lordosis decreases. Lumbar lordosis decreases, smaller range of extension. The abdominal muscles are relaxed, the range of extension increases. The abdominal muscles are contracted, posterior pelvic tilt, the range of extension decreases. The extension passes as a chain reaction to the thoracic vertebrae. It should be remembered that it is also possible to contract the deep abdominal muscles without posterior pelvic tilt in the stabilizing aspect. When extending the back, contraction of the abdominal muscles with posterior pelvic tilt should be emphasized in the following causes. 1. When the trainee is sensitive to back pain in the lumbar area. 2. When the goal is to focus extension on the thoracic vertebrae.